uh, this is not your average day in New York here in the middle of November. Uh, it's about 70 degrees out and sunny. It's usually snowing and 25 degrees. Well, you know what else is an average? This new Chicken Master Rotary Grill that we've got here. This is one of a kind uh, uh, on the market, or it's getting ready to come on the market. Um, it's uh, it's the small, smallest of our line of grills. Uh, it does rotisserie cooking, grilling, it'll rotisserie ribs, it'll rotisserie uh, chicken. Uh, you can do regular grilling, steaks, burgers. It's portable. It's great for tailgating. It's great for uh, camping. Uh, you can actually plug rotisserie into the truck. You could put a battery-operated rotisserie. Basically, you could run this thing in the woods and do rotisserie cooking. Uh, it's almost 100% manufactured out of aluminum and stainless steel. It's manufactured in the United States. It's manufactured here in New York. Uh, I'm going to show you a few features on this today. Uh, actually, most of the features, uh, the different way that it works. And then a little later on, we're going to cook some ribs on it. We haven't tried ribs. we got a new piece of apparatus for it. It does uh, it'll actually do two racks of rotisserie ribs. Uh, total weight of the unit is just under 30 pounds. It's almost all aluminum. Uh, so at any rate, I'm going to get enough of that stuff aside. I'm going to get to showing you what this thing does. Uh, I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to show you the different things on it and uh, how it works. Stainless steel great, quarter inch round great, will last a lifetime. Stainless steel rotisserie, cool hand. This actually, after this runs for two hours, it can actually be taken off by hand. This is similar to some of the ones that you see uh, on market where you put your meat on the spit. Uh, it's a little bit different though. We capture it with this. And, and that makes no history. Uh, I'm gonna take it apart a little bit more here. I look inside here, there's a charcoal grate on the bottom. And I don't know if you can come over here, Joe. It'd probably be a little better now if you came over here so I can show you how this works. So when we do regular grilling, we do regular grilling, charcoal goes right on here. You got the charcoal there. Uh, there's vents, vents on the top to let heat out. There's vents in the back that let air in so that we get great circulation. There's also a bunch of uh, uh, stuff inside of this to keep the heat away from the outside. It has heat deflectors in the bottom, heat deflectors in the back. You go inside now, I'm going to show you how we rotisserie. This is fairly simple. If you look right here on the end here, Joe, there's a handle right here. And turn the handle up. That locks the basket in a vertical position. So when we do rotisserie cooking, we're going to put the charcoal in the in the vertical position. I'm going to sneak over here and grab this spit here so you can see how this all works. All comes apart by hand. Basically, just sets on the mount here, and you got rotisserie cooking. Plug it in, turn it on. The great feature of this thing is everything on this thing can be uh, it can be all packaged up into one unit and, and taken away, thrown in the back of your truck or camper or whatever you got. Now I'm going to show you the rib, the rib uh, pack that comes with it. I've done prime ribs, chickens, pork roasts, turkey breast. This, this grill only weighs about 30 pounds. It's about 15 inches by 13 inches square. It's about 11 inches tall. It'll do two four and a half pound chickens in an hour and a half. Basically, we're going to have a video coming up here on this. This is the rib rack. Basically, what we're going to do is, and it's all stainless steel again. Everything that touches your meat is stainless steel. The ribs will actually lay in here, and then we're going to close this over, and the ribs, and you'll see the video after this video with the ribs in here. This will hold two 18-inch racks of baby back ribs. Basically, they go in there. We're going to run the spikes through it. We're going to hold it closed. Spike got some precision parts here. Basically, you end up with a basket. Uh, it could be used as a basket, I guess, but it's basically designed to do ribs only. 
they go back on here and then the rip situation is set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you, I've kind of unfolded it. Uh, I didn't show you one thing, it comes with a drip tray. When you're in the vertical position, you're always going to have the drip tray in the bottom of it, stainless steel, last a lifetime. It's going to catch any of your grease, your juice, so on and so forth. With the vertical heat, you're not going to get any flame from the uh, from any uh, grease dripping on the, uh, uh, the charcoal because it's in vertical position. Basically, the airflow on this is not direct airflow when we're doing rotisserie cooking. The heat comes up over the top of the roast and around the top and then back out. We have a ther thermostat control here. We can adjust this thing probably from about the 200 to 375 degree range. Basically, I gave you pretty much the features. You're going to see a little bit more in the next handful of videos that I'm going to do. Uh, where I cook, actually cook a meat, but I just wanted to try to get an idea of how the grill actually works. I'm going to fold it all up, put it back together in its package, and then we're going to move on. Basically, you've got to fold the grill grate down, or the charcoal grate. The pan goes in next. Next, what we have to do is drop the uh, Okay, everything packaged into one unit here. All your components. Lunchbox. Why do you think I call it a lunchbox? Listen to it. It is the lunchbox. Now the little legs, of course, fold up. I always do it like this because it's easy. And basically, it's about 25 to 30 pounds. I can take it with me wherever I go. Thanks, Joe. Oh, you want? Oh. You want me to show how tough it is, huh? One thing is, we, we manufacture this all by hand, and I'm going to tell you what, it is tough. Uh, no problem. Probably a little bit tougher than any other grill you've ever had. Thanks, Joe.